Ideas are born in peculiar ways. But a ski trip pursuing epic conditions was no accident. A culmination of ski bumming decades birthed this plan. Supportive army of Zach's childhood friends have been saviors in these final stages of building as we set out towards the powder promised land, listening to our hearts much more than our heads. Zach hasn't slept in three days. I just see quite a bit more stuff that we could keep doing endlessly. So the idea that the project is done is, um, I don't know, it's never quite done. But at some point you just gotta call it good and go. What I got, yeah, is a big ass dream. It took ten years to develop the scheme, now I'm never going If you want to battle it, you always have to leave your soul. Neighbors say, As the miles fly by, the house fills with numbers. There's um, two skiers and a split quarter, and about two filmers. That all is five? People in gear avalanche from every nook and cranny of the house. Sam, Andy, and Neil have arrived, and officially we're at 22.4 square feet per person. Does, does this, um, this turns this way and you see up here? Finally I'm on a roll. If you want it bad enough, you almost have to leave the soul. The old Ford truck seems to belong to this western landscape. The boys have coined her Rusty D. I think we're talking Rusty D here. Rusty D is getting the first duct tape repair job. Even better than that is it's totally critical. Like we were not going to make this drive potentially without this roll of duct tape here. So. Okay guys. Here we go. Do you guys want to tell me what you're doing? Um, the uh, accelerated pedal is getting stuck completely forward and it's actually causing it to be quite dangerous and jeopardizing our chance to get to Silverton tonight. Oh, that's gonna work, man. Jeez, okay. <laughs> it's gonna uh, be let's... hard to push that gas pedal in. Go okay. feel it. Let's see here. Okay. We might not. Six. I think this takes 16 volts. Oh, should we get jumper so. cables? Might as well. It is four in the morning. Some of us want to play by the rules of sanity, fix the truck before crossing the snowy pass. And some of us just really want the powder. What the beauty of it is, is that we're totally unreliable. We could break down at any moment. 
we could tell somebody that we're gonna be somewhere and there's just no guaranteeing it's gonna happen. We woke up this morning and our solution that was working really well last night had uh, kind of stuck up and our, our bungee had lost a bit of its spring. Neil here's got a pretty good solution for it. Oh, we're just gonna get another bungee on there, tie it on there real tight and hope she holds. Trusty bungee. Crazed minds demand drastic measures. Silverton opens tomorrow. We've made it to Silverton, and a hearty portion of what we needed has been served. Looking out the teensy windows, snow-covered goliaths fill every inch of glass. Better go out dancing and howling at the Think you better bring some magic Merry Christmas. Some of the worst avalanche danger skiers in North America have known plagues the mountains. It's almost worse when it's right in front of your eyes. I'm beginning to feel the effects of having roots and no roots. The helpless residual of life on the road. still no snow anywhere else in the country. Skiers are sharing a similar story about less than ideal conditions out on the slopes. There's some grass poking through and some sticks and logs. With no snow in this country, there is one place we know for deliverance. We're going to Canada. Sleeping in here tonight? Oh. Yeah. Are 
Yeah, you can usually Tighten hook the, the back side. Yeah. We've made it to Canada in our favorite ski area, and they've agreed to let us stay in their parking lot. Powder has salvaged the show. <laughs> and the people in town love the house. Yeah, that's that John guy. They've been blushingly generous and especially keen on gifting us firewood, prayer flags, incense, peacock feathers. That's just scrap from the wood shop there. The best, yeah, I hope they're small enough. <laughs> no, that's great. I just gotta say, you got a cute little place here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. It's like right on, man. Is this your house? Yeah. Can I go upstairs? How many's that uh, sleep? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Wow. Hey, have you ever yeah. seen a tiny house like this before? No, 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 wheels, man. Like, no. Like, I, 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 I kept seeing it up the back of the like, okay. Questioning visitors always no. fancy an elaboration. Their minds stubborn to understand this dirtbag dementia. Who, who, you guys all made this together? Uh, my brother built it for the most part. He has a, he had a lot of help in Boulder. He's like a carpenter. And, um, How can we not have a bathroom, they wonder. Now, what are you guys doing for showers and stuff? We, that's... Uh, bathrooms. Yeah. We don't really have them. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a great aquatic center in there's, town, too. Yeah. Yeah. At night time, you just kind of pop outside? or Yeah. 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 Aquatic center yeah, town. Okay. Wait, do you you don't pull with your Subaru? No, no, we have a truck. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so that right. would be amazing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. The tide of the tour has shifted, and the Kootenai cold smoke has never felt so fresh. And just when everything seems perfect. Can we call the fire department? Um, I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea. Because it keeps catching on fire. Yeah. Yeah. That electricity goes boom, hits that metal on the fuel, and the electricity just goes and starts electrifying anything that's touching because it's grounded. Uh. So it's going. After 600,000 miles on the road and one final heroic effort, Rusty D delivered us to winter, ending her life in blazing glory.
Luckily, the house was not attached. I just can't believe that the truck was that close to burning down the entire time we were driving. Wait, what? Then, oh, we had this conversation. I was like, well, now that we're here, I don't care if Rusty dies. I hope that Rusty dies so we can just stay here forever. <laughs> and then, like, ten minutes later, Rusty, like, goes down in a and ball flames. of flames. It's hard to know where home is sometimes. There's the place you grew up, the place you live now, and the countless places in between. But seeing the tiny house stranded in the place we most wanted it to be, it's clear. The tiny house has made it home. Canada, thank you for your charming characters and gluttonous wonderland of peaks, powder fields, and pillows. Try. Living in the tiny house, we learned that it's so much more than a house, so much more than a powder crazed ski mobile. It's a way to spark conversations, make new friends, and be at home wherever you go, and serves as proof that ideas can become reality, even if you're afraid of what they might turn into.